again, hola, and thank you for choosing to watch another instalment from here at my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the town for over 20 years now, and my aim is to bring you a fresh and different take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas, so here we go. Today's vlog is not the normal type of story that I feature because as my regular viewers and subscribers will know, I pretty much always try to be positive and show the good side of Benidorm, but as I read this story in the Spanish national press, I'm afraid to say I felt disgusted and embarrassed to be British. The story that's emerged in the last couple of days is that a young lady of 29 years old from the Basque country in the north of Spain was streaming a live video from a beachfront bar in Benidorm when she was groped by an Englishman. And shockingly, this made her the second person in a week who has suffered this type of assault. The streamer, who goes by the name of Gonzabella, was broadcasting live on Twitch and was surrounded by groups of men drinking, and to me it looks like she's on the terrace of Tiki Town on the beachfront towards the old town, although I may be wrong as the bar wasn't actually named in any reports that I could see. For those of you who don't know, like I didn't, Twitch is a social media platform where millions of people come together daily to chat and interact, offering many subjects that people choose to watch, including cooking, music and with a heavy focus on video games. And this young lady is considered to be an influencer on the channel due to her impressive 665,000 followers. Whilst Gonzabella, real name Isabel Gonzalez, is speaking to the camera, the man who is sitting behind her is seen to extend his arm towards her and touches her behind. She immediately spins around and repeatedly tells him in Spanish, don't touch me, hey, don't touch, whilst another man in the group can be heard apologising for his companion's actions and she can then be heard to say, now they have definitely gone too far, and moves to another table to get away from the group of seemingly British men. Later, the streamer shared the clip on her social media account, receiving hundreds of messages of support, along with condemnation for the act of sexual assault. I sat in the quietest area that I could see. I did not get into this huddle, but it formed around me, she explained to her viewers. I feel like a fairground monkey here in the middle, she added, noticing how many eyes were focused on her. But shortly after, as she said, this time they went too far. Even after leaving the bar, another tourist appeared on camera, running towards her, to the alarm of those watching the live broadcast. Fortunately, he was content to run after her just to wave to the camera, although he was very close to the young woman. They're really crazy, she said, but don't let them touch me because that's no excuse. I drink too and it doesn't occur to me to bother anyone. I think it's not reportable, we're not going to be dramatic, but you don't have to touch anyone, she explained to the concern of her fans. At least his friend has asked for forgiveness, he has realised that the other one has gone too far. She did, however, admit later on that she felt a little displaced and uncomfortable after the incident, saying it's horrible and they don't even care that I'm recording them. Go figure. Don't mess with me. On top of that, they knew perfectly well that I was recording. They believe they are completely unpunished. In the second worryingly similar event, young female reporter Isabel Balada was assaulted in Madrid in the last fortnight whilst broadcasting on the Quattro channel and again the incident involved being approached by a man from behind who touched her bottom, interrupting the broadcast while she was live on the streets of the capital city. The police were subsequently called in this case and the man arrested, who after being brought onto camera to explain his actions, tried to shake the reporter's hand and then walked off but not after running his hands through her hair. Whilst things like this are undoubtedly, sadly, a common occurrence for women of all ages to have to endure, that this story has catapulted British holidaymakers into the Spanish press for all the wrong reasons yet again makes me very angry. As the large majority of tourists just come over for a good time and a week or weekend in the sun and behave perfectly respectably, as one would expect from grown adults in a civilised society. However, for those who sometimes ask me why I never name myself or show my face on my many vlogs, this for sure is one of the reasons. It's clearly safer to be anonymous, and besides that, I just want this YouTube channel to be all about the resort and not about little old me. I hope you're interested in hearing about this current news article today, and let's hope that these actions aren't repeated in the future, and that we can all enjoy Benidorm and beyond for the beautiful, well-kept, lively resort it is, and not bring it down any further to gutter level with these sorts of occurrences. If you did enjoy my content today, then please check out some of my other videos, which I promise you are more light-hearted, which take you on fly-on-the-wall tours of some of Benidorm's most popular hotels, 
bring you info-packed and detailed street and beachfront walks and also give you lots of local news, updates and reviews on cafes, bars and new businesses and just about anything else I can think of too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Bye for now, catch you again soon and adios. Cheers!